So typically, once people find out more about dry needling, and they start to think about it, they think to themselves, hmm, needles, does it hurt? So uh, the answer is, for most people, it's a minor irritation, if at all. Some people don't feel it at all. Very rarely, in fact, I can only think of one person that I've ever treated who didn't want to have dry needling again because of the discomfort. I'm personally not a big fan of needles. However, um, I'm willing to use dry needling because of the effectiveness that it carries. We want to keep in mind that these needles are very tiny. In fact, I'm going to give you a sample of what this looks like. So this is a needle and I'm going to hold it up and it is so tiny that even as I reach it out towards the camera, you're not going to be able to see it. These needles are 0.2 millimeters long, excuse me, wide, um, and varying lengths. So 0.2 to 0.25 millimeters is not very long. I'm going to give you a little demonstration about how dry needling looks. So first of all, each dry needling session is done with needles that are in a clear plastic tube that are sealed. Dry needling is a clean technique, not a sterile technique. These needles are just used for one person. Once it comes out of this tube, it's done. So you would insert the the needle into painful issue, tissues. In this case, I'm imagining that I have maybe some tennis elbow and simply release from the, the um, tube, tap it in, and insert it into the painful area. And typically it's a little bit of a sting to not much noticeable at all. Of course, there are times people can feel it, but typically it's very beneficial. Then at the end, once we're done with treatment, we simply pull it out and we discard it into a sharps container. So in short, dry needling, especially when done by the specialist, doctors of physical therapy at Physical Achievement Center, is, is almost never a painful condition. There's a minor level of irritation for some individuals, but it doesn't hinder people from experiencing it again.